Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over tonight's NHL slate, and we're going to use the same process that we have been, which people seem to like. Um, people seem to be doing well with it, so we're going to keep doing it. Uh, first, we're going to look at the team totals to see which teams uh, we should expect to produce good fantasy uh, plays. Then we're going to look at my sheets to identify who those plays could be. And then we're going to actually build lineups, both uh, by hand and also using Saberson. Uh, first of all, it is a uh, only a four-game slate tonight. And I'm going to be going live a little bit later, and I'm going to try to incorporate um, some uh, NHL into the live stream as well, especially with Bobby not here. I can, I can probably do a little bit more of that. Um, I also forgot to mention to you guys that if you guys haven't been playing this yet, uh, the, the poke check special – uh, 5k for first five dollars it gives you the opportunity to practice your mme game without uh, spending as much money as you know as, as you could otherwise um so i do recommend that if you were thinking of eventually using playing mme um the uh the uh which is the uh the bigger one the, the kick save you could start by going for like one third of the price um uh, and play that five dollar poke gen uh Nonetheless, let's get into today. Um, first, we're going to look at uh, two different looks at the team totals. We're going to look at Saber Sims and then uh, Daily Roto. So Saber Sim, they are looking at Toronto with a 3.9 uh, and Pittsburgh with a 3.9 and then a drop to the Rangers. So it looks as though Toronto and Pittsburgh look to be the, the you know, semi-obvious plays. Um or at least, you know, assuming that fantasy points correlate with, with goals, which they usually do. Let's look at uh, Daily Roto. Let's take a look at them. Uh, they have Toronto at four, Pittsburgh at four, same thing, and drop to the Rangers. Okay, so no real difference between the two. So these are the teams that we'd be expecting, and presuming that the prices allow us to play these guys, they're probably going to end up being the good plays. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to play them, because we have to consider ownership and things like that. But let's let's first start with, with that presumption. So let's pull up the sheets, which again are available usually uh, just for premium subscribers. Um, and again, I want to show you my process of how I go about you know analyzing these things. Again, the goal being that you should not have to come back each day to see my quote unquote picks. If you're a true DFS subscriber and have access to these tools, you should be able to do this yourself because it's not a particularly difficult process it requires a little bit of nuance and a little bit of an art but but overall it's 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 a pretty straightforward process so what you're trying to do um as we pull these sheets up we're ranking all these guys by by the way by sheets value score uh which is my way of uh, which is my take on points per dollar as opposed to just fantasy points um you're you're looking for players that appear in the top quadrant or hopefully the top 10 that are from the same team you know, because that's what hockey does. I mean, you correlate, you know, your centers with your wings and one guy passes it to the other guy. So while we're while we're at it, we may as well try to find guys that are going to be the ice together, meaning they're going to be on the same lines. So that's why we keep a list of what the even strength lines and the power play lines. Right? So let's just take a look. And, and, and right away, we could see right off the back that the, uh, the Toronto guys are standing out, right? You have three of the top four match as a matter of fact four of the top six four of the top seven values are from toronto not to mention nylander kind of finishing it out so also if i'm not mistaken all these guys are on the top line so if you're playing i guess cash or even you know single entry uh this is probably where you would want to start uh, again, in a, a four-game slate, this is not too uncommon to get one team to kind of dominate like this. What is a little strange is that is that Pittsburgh is really behind. You know, you have Gensel and Crosby and Malkin and Latang. They're definitely second, but they're they're like a clear second. You know, like Toronto is significantly better as far as at least what I'm looking at. Um, so why don't we go ahead and do that? Why don't we build a uh, build a lineup? Before we do that, let's just take another look and see if anything else stands out. I do see Patrick Kane as a good kind of one-off, which makes some sense. Um, he's outside those of those key teams. And then what else do I see? I see some Anaheim value kind of littered throughout the slate here a little bit, right? So Strom looks like a good price, and Reek is a good price. 
And I guess it's Anaheim playing Pittsburgh. Um, yeah, so so maybe that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to play Toronto and then play Anaheim, which basically gets you leverage against Pittsburgh anyway. So maybe that's what you're supposed to do here. So why don't we try that? Let's let's try to build a lineup with with some Torontos and some Pittsburgh and some uh, Anaheims, and see if it uh, see if it just kind of like builds nicely. And then after we do that, we'll go ahead and build a uh, do Saber Sim and do a whole bunch of stuff. First of all, let's see what's going on with Austin Matthews. Um, so it looks as though he is still out, Matthews, which makes these other guys still really great plays. So let's just throw all these guys in. So let's put in uh, Tavares and then uh, Bunting and then uh, who's it? Marner. We can get all these guys in. I mean, that's like amazing. We're going to Riley. And then there was, what's his name? Uh, Nylander, who's on the second line. So we don't necessarily have to play him. So let's just start with these four. And then let's put in a goalie so we don't forget. So we'll put in, um, uh, maybe I'll put in the Ranger guy. You know, he's playing at least. So now we only have 4,600 a man. But as I recall, these Anaheim guys were kind of cheap. So let's, uh, Let's see how many of these we could play. So let's let's put in, and not Enrique. Let's we'll get back to him. We'll put in Strom. He's on the first line, and then either Enrique. He's on the first line, so let's throw him in there. So that's a good little four two for openers. You know, you could put another Toronto guy in maybe if you wanted to. Actually, probably a little too expensive. Um, and then, uh, no, the other guy I had on Anaheim was Silverberg, but he's a three, two, third, third line, second power play line, but Zegris kind of fills this out. So 5,700. So you play the four Torontos, you play three Anaheims, you fill in with the defenseman and you're off to the races. Um, now, I'm not saying this is exactly what I'm going to do because obviously, you know, projections can change and, and things like that. And sometimes it doesn't fit into this puzzle really, really as easily as this. But um, that's 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 what I do. And that's that's what I might end up. That's how I build a good amount of my. Honestly, of my of my single entry lineups. And let me just see if there's anybody defensive wise that stands out. No, not really. But um Let's put him in for now. This is Val 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 guy, whatever it is. Put him in just for now. But um, so let's go to Saber Sim just to save just to save an entry. Let's go to Saber Sim and let's see what we come up with. We build when we build with Saber Sim. So it's a little bit of a different process. We're going to upload the projections to Saber Sim. And if you're a true DFS member through Saber, I mean, with Saber Sim as an add-on, then this automatically happens for you. And I keep kind of a separate sheet. So I put all these guys in, save, and let's build, I don't know, 50 lineups just for funsies. So let's put the 150 max uh, settings. We'll put in 50 lineups. And let's see what we come up with. I, I can imagine, I imagine we have a whole bunch of Toronto, right? Just so easy to play these guys. Now, again, these guys are all going to be really high on. So you have to maybe do, do some ownership things here. But, hell, I mean, they look really, really good. Tavares, Bunting. Oh, they get a little more Pittsburgh here than I uh, had originally thought. That's interesting. Uh, the next thing I would do is, let's first, let's take a look. I see team stacks. Actually, mostly Pittsburgh, which is kind of interesting. But then I look and see how it breaks down. So it has like a bunch of these kind of offbeat stack sizes, like 3 2 2, 4 3, 3 3. And even though it's a small slate, I still like to have some degree of correlation. So what I might do is, is at least, at least X out, um, whatchamacallit, at least X out the, 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 I don't want to say obvious, but I mean, I want to have at least, you know, a four ball, at least a four man stack. I can't play three, two, two in hockey. That's like playing 
no, you know, no stacks in, in, in baseball. I mean, you got, that's just playing all like, that's like playing two by two by two by two by two in baseball. It just doesn't, it doesn't seem to jive too well for me. I know Samerson is punting some of these out, implying that they're good upside lineups, but I'm just, uh, I'm just not convinced. So that's what I would end up with. I'd have something like this, which team stacks, mostly Pittsburgh and Toronto. I wouldn't obviously play 50 lineups in this day. I mean, maybe I play 40. I don't know. It's kind of mood on me. And then for now, I would just download these, upload these, and enter them. So like it was literally just for now. Again, we don't even know if these goalies are starting. We don't know if any of these guys are starting. And again, and that, and I'll, I'll do the same thing as we get near lock. And then I'll obviously I'll look for news for you know little tweaks along the way that I might want to change some things. But that's that's overall the process that I want to play this you know like the kick save or whatever. Let's you know, let's let's enter these things for now. Poke check special. Enter, and then kick save. Where was kick save? Couple prizes, kick save. And we'll probably change things a little bit. Um, that's pretty much it. Seems like a pretty chalky attempt at Toronto and Pittsburgh, but sometimes, you know, that's what you got to do. And make maybe some uh, well-mentioned pivots in some of the other spots. Uh, that will do it. Uh, good luck tonight. Uh, and hopefully I'll be able to go over some of this in the live stream.